everybody, TJ here with your Warrior Showdown news update. Thanks for joining us. First off, let's talk about Warrior Showdown round two. I'm happy to report that for the first time we do have some significant progress. For the next fight, I do have the animatic complete. It's basically taking the storyboard images and putting them into sequence so that it gives me a rough idea of what shots I need where and it helps me fill in the gaps so that I can take the actual footage that we shot on the day and replace it with that. One of the challenges of shooting round two is, well, not so much shooting it, but editing it is a lot of it relies on post-production compositing techniques. So you actually can't see the footage the way that it's going to look for the rough cut. And this is slowing down the process a little bit, but I do have the fight about halfway cut. Now that can be misleading because the cut is only a small portion of the process. Once the fight is cut, then I'm going to put everything into the compositing software and basically layer in everything. And that's where the real time comes in. So maybe give me a few more days and the fight will be more or less in place. It'll just be all green so that it looks how it's supposed to look and characters are interacting with each other the way that they're intended to. I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time in Adobe After Effects. So thanks for your patience and bear with me. I also want to talk about the Iron Hero Awards. Thank you to everybody who voted. Voting is now closed. The winners have been determined and we are very close to shooting our awards ceremony. So keep an eye out for that. It should be very exciting. And there'll be a lot of surprise celebrity guest appearances. We also had the opportunity recently to shoot a video with our friends from Screw Attack Network. They were out here for some events in LA and I extended an invitation to them to come out to Swordplay Studios and do a fight scene with us and they were awesome. They were great guys. We had a lot of fun. They did an awesome fight scene and I don't want to tell you too much. I just leveled up. But rest assured, I leveled up again. But when they do post it, you can be sure we'll put a link up here so that you don't miss it. And if you haven't checked out the Screw Attack Network, go for it. And also some exciting news for Warrior Showdown fans. The owner of Swordplay Studios, Tim Weskey, has just made his own YouTube channel called They Fight. It references how Shakespeare described the fight sequences in all of his scripts. He would do this very lavish uh, iambic pentameter scripts and texts. And then when it gets to the fight scenes, he just writes They Fight. And that's really where the choreographers get the chance to come out and shine. And there's nobody better out there than my swordmaster, Tim Weskey. So I encourage you to click on the link and check out his website. There's already a cool fight up there and plenty more to follow. And finally, the entire impetus for Warrior Showdown came out of my childhood desire to ask the question, who would win in a fight? And it doesn't matter, I would ask about everybody. I drove people crazy with this question. In honor of the release of Nintendo's Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, I thought I would ask this question yet again. Since uh, time is a premium with all the Warrior Showdown fighting we've been doing, I don't have time to fight for myself. So, I thought I'd let my amiibos do it. It was a four-person showdown. I just keep unlocking secrets. You guys, you guys are good luck for me. I took Link, Donkey Kong, Mario, and Pikachu, four-man melee, and they fought against each other. And so that you know it's a fair contest, they have never faced the computer, they have never faced a human player. Their only experience fighting is against each other. So who do you think won? I sent him to 99 stock and let him go at it. Twice! It took forever, so I didn't babysit him. I just came back and checked to see who the winners are. And shockingly, the results were identical for both battles. They're all the same level, they started off at the same place, and in fourth place, every time, we got the big man himself, DK Donkey Kong. Could not keep up with those other competitors. Who do you think came in third? Sorry to say, it's my main man, Link. In second place, we had everyone's favorite oddly athletic, mustached hero, Mario. And in first place, out of all these great video game icons, twice in a row, and by a significant margin, mind you, we had Pikachu, the Pokemon poster boy. There you have it. And in case I don't connect with you again before the holiday, I hope you and all of your family and friends have a very safe and blessed Thanksgiving. What is going on? This is, this is seriously the most level ups that I have experienced in this short of a time span. Don't forget to check back in on Warrior Wednesday for more behind the scenes Warrior Showdown content and also again on Film Fight Fridays where we will unveil yet another cinema showdown. Thanks everybody, we'll see you soon.
If you're new to the channel, please check out our shows. We have the Warrior Showdown Tournament, of course, where the best fighters in history face off in epic duels to the death. We have Cinema Showdown, where your favorite iconic movie fights are reinterpreted and inspire these awesome fight scenes with some great guest appearances from the Warrior Showdown cast. And also we have... And there's my dogs going at it. They want to join in the conversation. And also we have Fight Like the Movies, where we study cinema's most epic fight scenes and employ to discover an even deeper understanding of film combat. All you gotta do is go ahead and karate kick that subscribe button. I mean, karate click that subscribe button and you will become an official hero in our Warrior Academy. It, just, it doesn't stop.